up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. The clip that you just saw was from January 12, 2019, so three years ago. While it's not quite my three year journey or my three year weight loss journey anniversary, um, I'm kept, uh, next month will be my three years since changing my life. Just the amount of change that I've gone through in the past almost three years is remarkable. So, um, so yeah, I'm not in my goal weight, but my life is, nothing about my life is the same since back then. You know, I was out there trying to, it was, I think that was from a date with me and Kyle and we went to Top Golf and it almost killed me to play just a couple rounds of golf. Um, and I wasn't even walking anywhere, I was just hitting balls. Um, but it, it's kind of crazy to see how much and how much activity and how much of living I'm doing again in my new skin, so in my new body. So um, yeah, we're gonna get to the goal weight this year for sure, but it's 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 before photos, before videos like this, that when you come across them, you cringed at the time that you take took the video or the picture, but once you've had a, a huge change in your life and you look back, it's so crazy. So you, you're glad that you have that footage or the content. So or at least I am because I like to see how much I've grown, how much I've changed and that those things mean a lot to me, more than a number on the scale. But yeah, I've lost a ton of weight since then too. But anyways, um, so then I'm going to get a workout in, gonna have breakfast and then I'll show you a yummy dinner. And if you stay tuned to the end, watch the video all the way to the end, you can see can you still be in ketosis and not eat the keto traditional macro percentages of, you know, like 5% carb, 25% protein, 70% fat? Can, can it be done? Watch and find out. Let's take a ride. Let's take it. You think about it. You want it. Fall in love. You love it. You can control. It is now dinner time and I'm gonna make sweet and sour chicken. 
So I have just mixed up the sauce for the sweet and sour sauce. I'll post the recipe down below if it's any good. But I will, we'll see at the end. This is a new recipe, I have not tried it yet. Um, but all you need is a couple peppers, some chicken, and some uh, ingredients for the sauce. And then I'm gonna have it over cauliflower rice. So anyways, let me turn the camera around and show you what I have. So this is the sweet and sour sauce. It's made out of sugar-free ketchup, ginger, uh, coconut aminos. Um, let's see, what else was in here? Oh, sesame oil. And it was pretty basic, Couple, just a couple ingredients. So next, um, I have some green onions I'm gonna chop up, and then some pepper. And I've already diced up about a little over a pound and a half of chicken. So it's a real simple, easy, straightforward dinner. So, um, and then I have, here's my frozen, Rice cauliflower that I'm just going to throw in the microwave. Um, and that is it. So I'll let's get to cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my avocado oil <laughs> and give my chicken a couple squirts. So I'm looking for about a tablespoon of oil. Turn that on and I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so I have 14 and a half ounces of green pepper. I've got my chicken cooking and I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna cook this up and put in our peppers. As soon as the chicken's about almost cooked, I'm gonna add the peppers. Okay, so now that the chicken is going, the microwave is doing our cauliflower. Now I'm gonna add our green peppers right to there. And I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, so at this point, I wanna drain this cauliflower. So I'm just putting, it's already cooked, so it's hot. And I'm just gonna let that sit here and drain all that liquid out and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now I'm going to add my sauce, which my sauce, um, I'll list the recipe below, but it's ketchup, coconut aminos, a little boca sweet, um, and then I'm just gonna pour that in there and let that come to a little bit of a simmer and it's ready to prepare or to plate. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna let that simmer and that's ready to go. Okay, so at this stage in the game, we have cauliflower rice. So I'm doing, since I'm doing low carb and not and not keto, I'm going to cut the rice with cauliflower. So I have white rice here that I've made in my Instant Pot with just water and rice. And then I have my cauliflower rice. So I'm going to mix the two. And then that's going to be my rice. So if you are not <laughs> low carb or doing this, just have the the cauliflower rice and skip this step. But if you're doing a little bit more carbs, are you okay with that? Um, I'm just basically cutting it, so <laughs> I'm, you know, so it's not as bad, it's not as, you know, not as restrictive. So, but like I said, just do cauliflower rice if you were doing keto. So I'm putting a cup of rice in here and I'm just going to fluff with a fork until it's all incorporated and it's ready to go. Basically a half cup of rice and added it to a pound of riced cauliflower. And it's going to give the rice a little flavor and it's also gonna give the cauliflower a little flavor. So now I am ready to plate the rice. Okay, so I did about a cup of the rice mixture and then one quarter, this makes four servings, of the peppers and chicken and sweet and sour sauce with a little green onion on the top. Now, does that not look freaking delicious or what? So it is a delicious, low carb and easy dinner. Okay, so it is a new day and I thought just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, I will test my ketones and blood glucose again based off the new macros of 12%, 37% and I think it was 51 or whatever percent is my macros. Or in other words, I am having uh, more of a low carb, high protein, moderate fat approach. So can you still stay in ketosis and not be following the traditional keto numbers of 5%, 25%, and 70%? Let's find out. Okay, so my hands are clean. I'm using the Keto Mojo. And you start off with the glucose. You put a strip in. And that is ready to go. All right, gonna prick the finger. And you just take that teeny trip of blood. So 
my glucose is 81. And let's do ketones. And you can use that same drip of blood. And then put the ketone strip in. Wait for it to say your channel number or whatever that's called. <laughs> the code. And then give it a try. Here's moment of truth. Point seven, there's your answer. You can stay in ketosis because it's based on your bio-individuality. Your, your ability to, to stay in ketosis or not is going to be very dependent on your own individual current state of health um, and also what your macro goals are. Being that I'm eating high protein, low carb, moderate fat, that is enough to keep my body in a state of ketosis without eating true keto numbers. So that is really cool. And that is why you should try if you're interested in seeing what your limits are, um, because I've been eating around 56 or seven grams of carb when you're supposed to only be in 20 to be able to stay in keto uh, ketosis. So I wouldn't have been able to find my limit or the, a little higher number that still works had I not tested with my Keto Mojo. So that's why I'm an advocate for you do what's best for you. So, um, and that pretty much proves that it's a not a one size fits all approach to a weight loss journey.